400-something thousand lives that was lost. When World War II veteran Grady Mullins returned from the Battle of the Bulge, he made a choice to forget about what he'd seen and what he'd done. But uh, I just refuse to think about it. I don't, I just ain't going to think about it. I make myself think of something else. Until several years ago when he visited the World War II Memorial in Washington for the first time. Couldn't help but cry a little bit. The trip was made possible by Honor Flight Conyers. I'd like to thank each and every one of you. Twice a year, the nonprofit flies World War II and Korean War vets to the nation's war memorials for free. There's so many of them that because of financial reasons, because of health reasons, just couldn't make the trip. Okay. David Smith co-founded Honor Flight Conyers six years ago and with the help of volunteers and donations has escorted 400 Georgia veterans. One guy was a prisoner of war and his family never knew that. The Department of Veterans Affairs says roughly 372 World War II vets die every day. And with only 620,000 still living, Smith says there's an urgency in honoring them. When the trip's all over and you can see that they really appreciated it and they're really grateful and had a good time. The national organization boasts hubs in nearly every U.S. state. She's my escort on this trip. Taylor has his neighbor with And recently caught the attention of a writer for the popular CBS crime drama NCIS, which included the honor flight in tonight's episode. Uh, it, was, it was awesome, I'll tell you. Last year, 91-year-old James Irvin made the trip, escorted by his grandson. It keeps things in your mind, and you don't forget it, you know. When you when you reminded of it, you know. Still, 72 years after the war, some memories are hard to shake. One thing I do think about every day: three of my high school classmates didn't live to see their 19th birthday.